Welcome, this is Like It's 1985 with my review of Transformers Alternators Smokescreen. Smokescreen is based on a uh, Rally Subaru WRX. And they've done a really good job with the details, with the decals, um, the gold rimmed uh, tires, rather wheels. Um, pretty damn cool actually. And pretty clean on the undercarriage as well, so it's kind of nice. Let's go and transform this guy. There's a couple reasons why I like this. I'm going to go and explain that at the very end once I get the transformation done. Uh, first thing you want to do, um, you kind of lift up the the uh, top there so you separate there. And go ahead and uh, they, these are uh, kind of on tab, these right here. There we go. Like so. Uh, that should allow you to free up and pull down the legs. And then of course you want to separate it like that. Now to get the feet sorted out, you want to put these uh, doors like so. Just pull them back and just straighten out the legs. Now for the uh, for the middle section here, what you want to do this piece here, side skirt, you want to fold this down. Or actually, I'm sorry, fold it up like so. It was down like that. Fold it up. Fold down the uh, seat. Same thing here. Fold the, uh, well, detach it from there. Fold it up and fold down the seats. And then what's going to happen in the bottom, you're going to take these two pieces and fold them together until they uh, peg in. Now, <clears throat> there are two holes here, two pegs here. So this is going to form the uh, crotch area, and that tabs in pretty nicely. Um, and then you want to go ahead and uh, rotate these around 180. So now you've got the, uh, the middle section taken care of. All right, so up top, you've got uh, the arms. These can be kind of a pain in the butt, especially to get back in. But anyhow, just uh, what you want to do is just uh, kind of um, wiggle them. See, I'm kind of wiggling and pull apart. Now, there is a joint here that will come loose, uh, that is designed to uh, come loose. Well, not, yeah, so you don't break anything. I uh, forgot to take out the engine, so here it is. There which becomes the gun. Uh, anyways, um, just kind of pull things out and then um, to that point where you want to get there. And see how the, uh, the Autobot logo goes upside down. You're going to want to turn it, but you can see how there's this piece sticking out here that attaches normally to this like steering rack. you got to basically turn it and rotate it down and it's going to get stuck against the side of the plastic kind of just hold on to it and get it so that you can finally do it it, it what, what kind of happens sometimes is this is designed to come off like that if, if it has enough stress put on it so it's kind of annoying but that's how you bring out the arms so we'll do the same thing over here just kind of wiggle it and uh, get it to the point where you can uh, get the tire out like that. So same deal, you want to just rotate around. See, there, that's rubbing against the plastic, which is a pain in the butt, but that's how it's supposed to look at when you get to the end there. And let's see, bring down the uh, See this piece, this piece was like this, bring that down like that, 
and then what's going to happen is his head should pop through where the air intake is in car mode. And it's kind of tricky, kind of, you might have to sort of push his head back just so that you can get through that tiny space there. You can see his head popping up right there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I think I, I forgot about, you need to separate the uh, the windshield. There's a two tabs here. You need to get that uh, separated from the front of the car. That is gonna have to There we go. Just getting enough clearance to get that down. Now let's try to bring out the head. There we go, I think that's better. And then this clicks in, you need to click it until you hear a snap like that. Bring the arms around, bring out the doors. So I think we got him all successfully into robot mode. Like I said, he's a pain in the ass to get uh, back into car mode. The reason being is these legs have to fold up in a very particular way um, that it takes a long time to get that right. So there he is, everybody. Closer look. I have to say a very kind of nice G1 looking head sculpt. Sorry about that wiggle there. As you can see. And let's take a look at him. Rotate him around. Uh, so he has this gun. I think this is uh, the inter intercooler part of the uh, car and just fold out. And someone had made a reference in another review that this looks a lot like a G1 type of rifle. Not not particularly a smokescreen, but just a G1-esque looking rifle. So I kind of I agree with that. It's a good it's a good observation. Let's go ahead and put his gun in there. Yeah, he's very, he's looks very G1. If you notice the how the legs are formed with the, with the back uh, and the windows that come up here, very very reminiscent of G1. I like that. Um, if you guys collect G1, you know you know what I mean by that. Uh, the way that the feet are are arranged that way. Okay, so I said I had some couple reasons why I like this figure so much. Number one, uh, before I ever got into toy collecting, I was always into racing. Anything, basically anything on four wheels that goes fast, it looked, looked good, I was into it. Uh, and, uh, you know, rallying was one of those things that I followed a little bit. And basically, I was at a KB store one time, when they, I guess before they were going a bit out of business, or as they were going out of business, saw this, this figure right here, but we see this very one, and I picked it up. Because at the time I was collecting also uh, scale model diecast sports cars, and I figured, hey, I was a Transformers fan as a kid, and even as an adult I was a Transformers fan. This is back in like 2006, uh, before even the movie came out, and um, I said, hey, you know, he looks very good in his his car modes, that so that from even from like from a very short distance, he could pass as a regular diecast, you know, sports car. 
but he has the added uh, bonus of being a transformer. And so that's really what appealed to, to me uh, initially when I bought it. And then I started collecting more alternators. And then, uh, I don't know, about a few months later, a year later, I, I got my first Generation 1 transformer. So this is kind of where it all started, I guess. Um, my interest in sports cars kind of uh, merged with my interest in Transformers. I got this alternator. This, this is the first alternator I had. Then I collected more alternators. And then um, a year later, I was into Transformer collecting. And, and then it continues. So uh, definitely a cool uh, alternator. Nice G1 references with the feet and everything. And even I think the head sculpt looks uh, reminds me of one of the Generation 1 characters. I can't think of it right now. Okay, I am short of time. This is Like It's 1985, my review of Transformers Alternators Smokescreen.